All right, so the next problem up is too much pressure on the top of the foot. Um, the skip lacing gap technique that we already talked about uh, can work if it's a very um, isolated spot. Um, we can just gap uh, at that little area and then that should work. But some people complain the whole top of the foot really just feels uncomfortable when they're running. Um, okay, um, too much pressure irritation on the um, on the tendon, um, <clears throat> the tibialis anterior tendon, and just feels uncomfortable, maybe a little bit of tingling, numb. Um, so what we can do is what's called the parallel lacing uh, gap technique, okay? So I've started with the top, the bottom one's already done, so the shoelace was ready to go and equal, so I didn't have to fool around with that. And now I'm gonna take that right inside one, I'm gonna come underneath into that second set of eyelids, okay? Here's where a lot of people mess up, which you gotta really make sure you're doing it. When you go over the parallel component, I'm never coming underneath, okay? I'm always staying up and above. So I'm coming here. Got it. Now what I can do is, I'm just gonna do this whole side and get it ready, okay? I'm gonna always save room for the next side. So I'm gonna come under this next pair. I'm gonna come through, okay? Um, and I'm gonna go under and over. Got my next pair, okay. Now I'm gonna skip another one. I'm gonna come under and through, okay. So that one's all set, ready to go. And then we're gonna come through. So we're gonna come underneath, okay. We're gonna come under to hide the shoelace, we're gonna come over. Okay, I'm gonna come under to hide the shoelace. I'm gonna come over. Oops. Okay, and then I'm gonna come right through into that last one. And we're good to go. That is the parallel lacing gap or the parallel lacing technique.